Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ben Behaving Dadly. In this episode, I'm going to tackle how to deal with hay fever when you're pregnant. I don't have hay fever. Clearly I'm not pregnant, but my wife has both of those things. So I didn't realise that you weren't allowed to use hay fever medication when you're pregnant. That's not exactly true. You can use some medication. You can take some nasal sprays and we've tried them. They're okay, but they're nowhere near as good as if we'd have had like the previous prescription drugs where we could have gone outside and actually enjoyed the summer. Quite selfishly, I want to cure this so that we can go outside again and I don't just melt. However, I've just found a cure and it's brilliant. You ready? Locally sourced honey. Really sweaty there. Ugh. Locally sourced honey means that the bees have been eating the pollen from your local area, which means that when you eat that honey, you're getting some of the pollen stuff in you and therefore you become immune to the pollen and therefore hay fever, gone. How good is that? One small problem is that this kind of honey isn't available in like Sainsbury's, Tesco, so I've got to track some down. Hello, I'm dealing. Oh, hey mate, are you um, the, the, the bee guy? Yes. Are your bees like free range or organic or how does it? <laughs> yeah, there's no such thing as organic. Do you, do you have any honey? Yet. Oh, hey mate. Um, yeah, my wife's pregnant, and I just googled um, for honey. And I just wondered, do you have any locally sourced honey for hay fever? Uh, you called into the strip club. Sorry. You you are called into Honeypot Strip Club. Honeypot Strip Club. Oh, okay. Sorry. I, so, so I googled. I was after honey for um, locally sourced honey. No, so that's not you guys. Uh, you don't have any, any honey on site at all? Nope. Hung up. Bit rude. Sorry. Uh, oh, hey mate, do you have any locally sourced honey? Honey? Yep. Uh, yeah, 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 we've got that, yeah. Alright, so, and, and how, kind of, how local is it? Oh, yeah, pretty local. Um... Mate, I'll be, um, alright, can I come over in a minute, is that okay? All right, mate. great. See you then. Bye. Cheers. Wait, Cheers, mate. That's taken me like 25 minutes just to find a pot of honey, and I'm I'm really sweaty now. Uh, right, I'm gonna sat nav it and go and get me some honey. Boom. Farm shop. Here we go. Hey, mate. Hello, mate. Hey, hey mate. I'm alright. Have you got any honey? This is it here. That'll do. So, so it's currently dusk, the worst time for you to be outside here. This is the cure to your hay fever. You ready? It looks like mayo. You have to stop a set, dog's barking. Hey, wait. <laughs> Don't say uh. <laughs> full mouthful. I can't have a full mouthful, that's so sweet. Is it? How is it? Mmm. <laughs> Honey, like. Wow. Mm. It's like um, like a curd. Oh wow. It's like honey. Has that cured your hay fever? Uh, for the purposes of the video, yeah. <laughs> Are you cured of your hay fever? Maybe we'll stop it. You do know you're meant to take it like weeks in advance of the hay fever starting. That's how it. That's how it works. You what? No, it's you. It's like a vaccine, isn't it? Like, so you build up immunity. That, it's a bit late now, but it's lovely. That does make <laughs> way more sense. Take that a month before you get hay fever and maybe it will solve it. Honey on toast? Honey on toast. So that's it for another episode of Ben Behaving Dadly. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you found this mildly entertaining and you want to see more of Mabel, give it a share and drop me a comment. I'll read them all and I'll see you next week. Bye.